Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you can probably see, we're not in uh, Central America anymore. We're back in London. We've been back for what, 12 weeks now? It's been quite a while since we did our last video for obvious reasons. Obviously we wanted to carry on traveling a bit further, but we thought it was the right thing to come back, be, be a bit closer to family. Hopefully it hasn't affected you guys too much. Obviously it's hit the travel industry terribly and we'd love to get traveling again, but um, of course that's not possible at the minute. But uh, I mean, luckily in the UK, they're starting to ease restrictions slightly. So we thought now would be a good time to get out, get using our camera again. So as you might have seen from our latest video, we were in Nicaragua in March. By then the virus was starting to take hold in Europe and so we made a decision to move uh, to Costa Rica. We spent about a week there and after that as the situation wasn't improving we took the decision to come back to Europe to be near our families. We took a 30 hour long flight to come back to London and we rented a flat uh, in East London where we've been since then. So as we're back in East London we were thinking of places that aren't too far that we can do a bit of filming and we decided it'd be nice to do a little walking tour of Canary Wharf. Canary Wharf is situated on the West Indian Docks on the Isle of Dogs, a peninsula on the River Thames in the east end of London. Between 1802 and 1939, Canary Wharf was one of the busiest docks in the world, named after the sea trade of fruit and vegetables with the Canary Islands. Between 1960 and 1980, the port industry in London is declining and eventually all docks are closed by 1980. Throughout the 80s, the Docklands Development Corporation work on regeneration of the area and by 1988, construction on the new business district we know today begins. Canary Wharf is a really beautiful area and it's very busy during the week being a working district but it becomes a really nice and lovely place during the weekend with some hidden spots that you might not know if you don't work here or you're not from London. The Jubilee Park, named after the Queen's Golden Jubilee celebration in 2002, is built above part of Canary Wharf Underground Station. With its central meandering water feature and 22 fountains and pools, it's a great place to relax with lots of green space to occupy. So this is Jubilee Park and it's right in the centre of Canary Wharf um, and it's a little green haven isn't it? A little, little oasis. Really really nice actually. So living in a post-coronavirus or coronavirus world. They've done a really nice thing here and there's like little circles on the grass to segregate people by two meters. Um, it's a nice idea, it just, I guess it gives people a bit of security. So this is Jubilee Plaza. Um, usually at the weekend it would be rammed with people, wouldn't it? Like super busy. But obviously because of coronavirus it's, uh, it's a lot quieter. Um, but yeah, it's a cool place to hang out. Loads of bars, loads of restaurants. Uh, so yeah, let's go and have a little wonder, see what's open. As bars and restaurants are currently still not allowed to open their doors, we could only find a few stalls selling takeaway food and drinks. So I grabbed a couple of coffees from a donut stand. The girl at the coffee stand explained how tough it's been for all of the small businesses in the district this last few weeks, but it was promising to see people out and about again, albeit with two metres between each other, slowly beginning to spend money and help some of these small outlets stay afloat. After our coffees, we started making our way towards the North Dock. To get there, you can cut underneath the central building, One Canada Square, through a sprawling shopping mall that connects the skyscrapers in the district. I've worked uh, in this area for a little while and this whole shopping centre links all the main buildings in Canary Wharf and it's just so easy to get lost in all the corridors and, and different areas that are down here. It's, it's a funny place, it's interesting to see. At the end of the day it's just a shopping centre. We headed back out towards West India Quay. This area of Canary Wharf sits along the old North Dock and now has an array of restaurants and bars. Usually on a Saturday afternoon, this would be a busy area being enjoyed by locals and tourists alike, but once again, it looks a bit different in the current climate. It's so strange. I, I mean, this is the same everywhere, isn't it? Globally with the coronavirus, but it's just so sad to see all the bars and restaurants here closed. There's a couple of places doing takeaway, but it's just not the same. This is the middle of summer here in London and uh, usually it's bustling down here and it's so nice, but fingers crossed we're coming out of this and uh, hopefully these places can open again and uh, kick back into life. 
Finally, we made our way back through Cabot Square towards West Ferry Circus on the west side of Canary Wharf. From here, you can catch some great views across the city of London and the River Thames. There are some nice grassy areas here, so it's a great place to catch the sunset over the city. Hopefully you enjoyed our little tour of Canary Wharf. Um, it's not our usual style of video, but um, hopefully things keep easing and uh, we're gonna head up to Scotland next month, if we can. Yeah, we've got a ton of places that we wanna visit up there. Um, if you've got any ideas, then put it in the comments below. But for now, just make sure you stay safe. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and all comments are appreciated. So thanks for watching.